In today's video, we are going to be breaking down some exercises that you can do to be able to do the step back like James Harden a lot better. Anyways, let's get down to it. What we're gonna start with is a lot of people call these skier jumps and that's what I'm gonna call them today. So what we're gonna be doing is jumping from one side, doing a one leg uh, squat over to the other, one leg squat, and we're gonna be going back and forth. We're going to be trying to stay on our toes and again single leg strength now i hope that you're able to see me all right in the video footage i hope that you can hear me okay as well so we're going to be going 10 times so every time we get back to the right side that's going to be one we're going to do that 10 times trying to keep our shoulders back one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, while we're resting, we're going to do 20 seconds of heel raises. Now, a heel raise is just when you go up on your toe and back down. Six, seven, eight. Now, we're going to get into side lunges. So we're going to go out, down, and back up. Down, back up. We're going to go for 10. 3, 4, 5. We're going to get down for 5 squats now. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, a great workout that you can do, I don't have enough work or room here, but something you can do is running backwards and running backwards up a hill. That's really going to be isolating the fronts of your legs, and it's going to obviously help with jumping higher, but it's also going to help you remove a lot of your knee pain when you're playing basketball. If you're like me and you get a lot of knee pain, Stuff like running backwards and running backwards up a hill, really isolating the fronts of your legs is really going to negate and remove a lot of that knee pain. So what we're gonna do now is go into 20 seconds of heel raises. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20. Now we're gonna go into 15 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is grab yourself a basketball. Now what we're gonna be doing is you can do this with a net or you can do this without a net. You don't necessarily have to have a net to be able to practice your step back. So, what you, all you have to do is take one dribble forward, take a step back, hop, and take a shot. So without a net, it's going to look like that, and you're going to go for your shot. And you're going to try and go quicker and quicker. So, now I have a net, but... You may not and you're gonna go for 10 sets of those on your right leg and you're gonna go for 10 sets also on your left leg for your shot now remembering when you do the step back you really want to be able to have your shoulders square towards the basket so when you're doing this make sure that you're picturing if you don't have a net to picture yourself a net, but also, if you have a net, you might as well use it. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to do these lower body exercises at least three times a week. Don't do it back to back, and you're gonna be able to do the step back much better. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video.